Don't settle in success that your separation has invited. When you begin to separate yourself from the world, it attracts God's favor. For some weird reason, you don't eat the food of the Babylon and you're 10 times smarter than the rest of the guys. For some weird reason, growth begins to follow your life. For some weird reason, your grades get better. For some weird reason, while the rest of the people trying to deal with their abusive boyfriends, you're finishing your master's degree. For some weird reason, while everybody is trying to prove everybody wrong and you already got your own house. For some weird reason, God's favor and God's growth begins to mark people's lives who don't try to please the world and be friends with the world but be separate to God. I can't explain it but maybe it says in Matthew 6 33, seek first the kingdom of God and everything else will be added. But there is a blessing that is going to follow you. That is favor that is going to follow you. That is God's grace that is going to follow your life. That is a mark of God that's going to last on your education, on your business, on your family when you follow God. Somebody give God some praise right now. If you want that blessing, give God some praise right now. The challenge remains of course is when the blessing comes because of our separation, when we become settled in that blessing instead of ministering to the Lord in spite of the blessing. See in the first point Samuel was distracted by other people who were supposed to do good but were bad. But the second thing is when the good things that follow your life become your own distraction. There was a boxing yesterday. I went to get a haircut and I was watching um, a, a guy, Andy, who was boxing Anthony. And uh, in June 1st of this year, Andy fought Anthony who is the heavy champion of the world who beat Vladimir Klitschko and they became friends after that and so this guy he's a Mexican boxer and he challenged a worldwide champion in New York on June 1st and knocked him out knocked him out and so of course he became very very confident in himself and they scheduled a rematch which was yesterday so I'm getting my haircut done and the guys kind of updated me told me the whole story and so I got very interested you know guys beating each other I mean what could be better than that and so as I'm watching and of course the, my Mexican friend he, he got kicked out of school because of fighting so now that became his career and you can see the way his fighting skills is like street fighting <laughs> bah, 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 bah. and so and the, and the guy from London you know he's 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 a pro he, he knows he, he knows how to dance in that thing he knows how to, how to, how to box and of course the the guy from London who lost the, the championship won yesterday again and I watched the interview yesterday of the Mexican champion and he said this, he says, three months of partying cost me this fight. He says, I gained so much pounds and I, I loved his honesty because most people are not going to be there like, oh, referees are the ones, the judges are the ones. He was very, very honest. He says, you know what? I took my victory so seriously that I thought I was invincible. I did not know I had another fight. And he says, I gained so much weight. I partied so much. He says, I came to this ring unprepared. The other guy took his defeat and went to the gym like there was nobody's nobody's business and he came hungry and they asked him they said what is your secret he says no matter whether I am a champion or a loser two things I never lose my hunger and my humility and I just want to remind you if God graces your life with growth don't lose your hunger if God graces your life with favor don't lose your humility don't lose it 